JS Guitar Tutorial, I'm going to be explaining you how to solo over one of the most common chord progressions in jazz. The minor cadence, also called a 2-5-1 in minor. You're gonna learn 2-5-1 minor licks for each of the five positions on the neck. Hi my dear jazz guitar enthusiast, Sandra Schirmany, greetings from Austria. I'll teach you what scales to play over the 2-5-1 minor uh, cadence and what notes to focus on. Learning licks will help you understand and get a feeling for the jazz idiom. I've made taps and backing tracks which you can download from one of the links down below in uh, the description box. Alright, now grab your guitars and let's get uh, the 251 minor licks under your fingers. D half diminished is the seventh degree of the E flat major scale and it's called D Locrian. We are in a 2 5 1 in minor, so this is you have to count from the parallel minor of E flat and that's C minor. So C minor is the one chord, D half diminished is the two chord, and G altered, it's gotta be altered, is the five chord. So two, five, mm. One. Those are our basic chords through the entire uh, lesson today. D half diminished, G altered, C minor. What scale did I use or do can you use over the uh, D Locrian chord? I just said it's actually C minor or E flat major. The thing is, just look at these chords. They just lie next to each other and all the chord tones, because what do you gotta do in jazz and actually every music uh, style, focus on the chord tones. That's so important. So I'm thinking E flat major and what I would focus on would be the E flat major 7 chord because that's the chord that I associate with the E flat major scale. And that's not good because it's just all the wrong chord tones. Right? The scale is correct, but the chord tones are wrong. So what I do is I focus on these, or I have a little trick, and I have a video up here for that trick. It's called the Dorian trick. I'm one of those persons who thinks a lot of, a lot of stuff in Dorian. So instead of thinking particularly Locrian and relearning all licks for Locrian, I think the second degree of the scale, F Dorian, because that's compatible. F minor 7 chord tones are F, A flat, C and E flat and those are almost the same chord tones as D half diminished which has D, F, A flat, C. So when I play an F minor chord arpeggio or think in F Dorian, I focus on, on the same chord tones that this one has so they're compatible. And that's what I do here. First I show you the scale, uh, the um, E flat major scale. Let's call it D Locrian scale because we play it over D. And here's one of my F Dorian licks. So the trick is just move from the D Locrian, one, two, three, to the right, and play one of your Dorian licks. I hope you got plenty of those in your repertoire. If not, check out one of my Dorian lessons. All right? So here is a Dorian lick for you that I just uh, played in the uh, previous, in the fast lick A flat, C. E flat, G, all right? Those are all tones from the F minor seven chord or D half diminished. Oops. This is the uh, 11th of the D. All right, now I go chromatically to that E flat. F, E, pull off to E flat and C. So this is for D half diminished. Next we have the G chord and I told you it's got to be altered because it resolves to a minor chord and we can't play a 13 or something because then we'd have the E in there. We need the E flat, 
we are in in the key of E flat actually C minor all right so um, here is a G altered lick the scale is up here somewhere first thing I play is I start from a chord tone and I play a diminished arpeggio diminished arpeggios go very well over altered chords D F and A flat because it shapes a G7 flat 9 chord actually and now I make a pull off and I go to the altered scale that's the E flat and I bar over bridge over to the B A flat that's the flat 9 so that's totally a, um, a G altered scale well this was from the diminished scale this is from the altered scale and here's the resolution this one is the fifth of the C minor, okay? And I play the G and I play the E flat. This, these are chord tones. And now what do I do over C minor other than playing chord tones? Well, actually that's about it. I play the C minor seven arpeggio plus the ninth often. So my suggestion for you is to play a C minor nine pentatonic. Why not play the uh, according, um, the correct scale would be C Aeolian. That's the E flat major scale again, sixth degree of the E flat major scale. Well, it has that A flat in there. And an A flat compared to a C, uh, to a C minor is the flat sixth. Some people, including myself, like to prefer the uh, C Dorian scale, even though that's wrong. But it has a very jazzy touch to, to it. And this one would have the major six, that's the A. Actually, both of them are so-called avoid notes. A and A flat are nothing you want to land on, okay? So you just would kind of pass them by, use them as passing notes. That's totally fine. You have, for example, you have arpeggio tones here. These, this is the C minor seven arpeggio. And exactly in between, what you have is that sixth of the Dorian scale and a flat sixth. So what I often do is things like this, and I do it in this lick too. So I start with my resolution. I always want to have chord tones on the resolution. And now I play a chromatic that belongs actually, actually to the uh, melodic minor scale. Um, going to the root, but it's just kind of a pickup note. Play the arpeggio again of that chord. B flat, arpeggio uh, tone. And now I do exactly what I just told you. I play the Dorian note as a passing tone, the Aeolian note as a passing tone, and I land on the fifth of the chord. Perfect, right? So please learn the minor pentatonic if you don't already know it, plus the ninth is always good. I did not include the ninth in this lick, but it's gonna be in, in the next licks a lot, so please check it out. All right, and next is the entire thing at slow tempo. Welcome to the second lick. We are now in the fourth pattern of uh, E flat major, C minor, or in the starting case, uh, D half diminished, D Locrian. Right here is the scale. And we start on the seventh of the chord. Always make sure to memorize where your uh, starting point is. Otherwise, you can't uh, move up or down the neck and move, uh, shift to other positions, to other uh, keys. So that's important. So if you have the chord here, this is your starting point, point but with the uh, index finger. 
right? This is the seventh. All right, I play the scale actually. All right, C, E flat, C. Then I have a chromatic note on an end, on an offbeat. One and two and, that's where it belongs. And now it goes to the good note, the root. And I play D half diminished arpeggio, D, F, A flat, C. Actually, this is one of my F Dorian lines again, so you see they're compatible. F, A flat, C. So that's what that was it for D Locrian, and now to G altered. I start on the third again. We had it here, and this time this is my G7 chord. And I put my middle finger on it, and this is where I have my scale. So B, then the root, G, the sharp 9, B flat, and the flat 9. And this is so typical bebop. Bebop, bebop. So this is one of the most played things in bebop. That's where the term comes from, actually. Bebop, bebop. That's the legend, the myth, at least. So we go to G now chromatic, passing tone to the 7th, that's the uh, F on the 6th fret. And the E flat, and now I have the resolution. Those were already 8, 8 notes. And now it's the C minor chord. And I end, I land on the 9th. I told you learn the C minor 9th pentatonic. Actually, it's a hexatonic to be to be correct, uh, because it has the five pentatonic notes plus the ninth. It's always a great color tone. Can't go wrong with the ninth. Um, and now I don't I don't uh, stay on here, even though I could. The ninth here is high enough. I would not recommend landing on the ninth like down here. That kind of clashes with the root. But up here is okay. And also I continue playing, I don't stay there for long. So I go over to the, uh, I play the pentatonic now. F, G, B flat, and then I slide from C to the D, and now I really end on the D. It's really nice and high. C minor 9 chord, perfect. All right, let's uh, check this out at slow tempo. Like three. This is our scale here. We are actually here. We are C. I'm thinking F Dorian immediately, but this is actually our D Locrian. All right, I start on the C. That's the uh, seventh of the chord again. And I want to target that D. I play around C E flat C chromatic and hammer over to that D. So that's an enclosure. Okay, we enclose the D from above, from below again, chromatic approach to the D. B flat, C and A flat. So that's it for D, D Locrian, D half diminished. And now G altered scale. A really nice lick in G altered. Here is G7 sharp 9. I start on the sharp 9, go over to the flat 9, A flat, root. I just play down the scale actually. Now the third of this uh, chord. Right, here is the B. Sharp 9, flat 9, and here is the resolution the fifth of the C. All right, C, and here's the fifth. And I 
add the uh, flat third of the C minor chord. That's the uh, E flat. And now what I do is I have this chord in mind. Let me see if you can see that. That's 7887, eight, okay? Derived from the uh, melodic minor scale. And this is exactly what I'm thinking when I go. Um, let's see, what, I, what did I do actually here? Actually, I don't have the 13 here, but I think about that uh, chord. Here's the major 7, E flat, uh, D, E flat, G, B, D, that's the ninth again, C, B, and now I just go down the minor 9 pentatonic. Here's the entire thing at slow tempo. pattern of the D Locrian scale and um, here's the D Locrian chord. Here's the scale. I start on the fourth actually of the D. Just above the D. Here's the root. Here's the fourth. I go down. This one does not belong to the scale. That's the ninth. So that would make it for a D Locrian ninth scale. But what I have in mind is this. This is the third of the D half diminished. That's why I want to land on count number three. One and two and three. Here I am. So this is another enclosure for this F. Then I continue with the scale. E flat, D, C. Now it's for the G altered. I go to the third. You see, I start liking on the third. Actually, that's not my line. That's Charlie Parker's line. So uh, he liked to start on the third too. Uh, so this is Charlie Parker's altered line. Um, and he spells a G7 chord actually. The third of the G7, the fifth of the G7, the seventh of the G7, and the root, B, D, F, G. And now he added the flat ninth, A flat. Here's the chord, always have the chord relations in mind. Sharp nine. Uh, and we hammer this and uh, pull, so I think you call this a triller. G and F again. So that's over the G altered chord. Now we have C minor and I told you C minor 9 pentatonic is fine and another thing that's really cool is um, to see superimpose an E flat major 7 chord over the C minor and that would be this chord which is also an arpeggio. This gives us, in comparison, in relation to the C, the third of the C, fifth, seventh, and the ninth. So an E flat major seven played over the C minor, that's the major minor relation, uh, gives us a C minor nine chord. And that's called the superimposition. And of course, I have a video on that too here on my YouTube channel. So, and that was actually it. Now let's listen to that at slow tempo.
the last lick, we are here at the half diminished 12th fret. And here is the scale, the Locrian. And I start on the seventh of the chord, and that's the uh, 13 here, the C. All right, actually it's a Cho Pass line. That's a great lick. Um, C, chromatic, scale tone, chromatic, scale tone. Make a pull off here. And now we just play around that F minor thing here. F, mi minor pentatonic, I mean. B flat and A flat again. So, bridge over. That's it for D half diminished. Now, G altered is a great Joe Pass line. Starts on the uh, third of the chord, B, goes down to flat nine, slide to the G, to the F, that's all within the altered scale. And now go back to G and we play a G augmented triad. This is symmetrical. Backwards, G, D sharp or E flat, B, that's the third, and the G. So, uh, played against the G7 chord, this gives us a G7 sharp 5. Here's the sharp 5 or flat 13, the third and the root. And now, C minor, and I said it's a Cho Pass line, he, he, um, he plays around that D, lands on the D, actually lands on the E flat later on. So D, the ninth of the C minor, C, D again and E flat. That's where he stays, but just for a while. Actually that's how Joe's line ends and I just add a little something to it now. Uh, G, B flat, major seven, I thought that's kind of nice, having a little melodic minor in there, sliding up to the C. And now I, embell uh, I enclose, I keep forgetting this word, the D. I play E flat, so that's a tone above the D. C, that's a scale tone below, chromatic, and landing on the, on the D. That gives me a C minor 9 chord. Perfect. I thought that was in Joe Pass sense, so I continue his lick. Right? Here's the entire lick number five at slow tempo. I think you may want to find my Dorian lessons helpful for the two five ones in minor. And of course, if you want to like the same thing in major, this is even more important. Two five one cadences in major, how to solo over those. Also, please check out my diminished over dominant chords uh, tutorial because you saw it is used a lot, okay? Uh, give me a like if you liked that video. I see you next week. Servus, Papa.